Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, speaking to Pranit Akila about SkyMed on Paramount Plus in the States, CBC, and CBC Gem in Canada. Welcome to the show, man. It's so great to chat with you. What's up? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Peter. This is um, this is this is exciting. I'm a big we've fan been, of yeah, we've been so. DMing back and yeah. forth. We've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm I'm happy we're well, finally doing it. A long it. time. <laughs> yeah, I was I was waiting. I was waiting. You're the- just waiting <laughs> and everything. This show is just there's so much happening. I can't even imagine yeah. what would, like has it is it starting to finally hit you now that like everyone's being able to see what you all worked on? Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, there's moments, right? There's moments where I, it's. It doesn't feel fully sunk in yet. And then mm-hmm. there's moments where, uh, you know, it's slowly, it's been about two weeks now where it's starting to hit that like people love the show and it's number one on Paramount still. Yeah. I just, I, I just got the numbers like literally two days ago and it's still number one. Um, you know, you just never think of these things in the moment because when you're filming, this, the, the best you could hope for is people watch it and like it. And then for it to do as well as it's been doing, it's, is, um, uh, it surpassed all my expectations. And, and so I'm just, I'm just excited. I would like to know specifically, Take us through the days of like you finding out it was going to be param- on Paramount Plus. Like, what yeah. was that kind of like for you that week of like finding out? Well, I knew, well, we knew uh, from day one that it was a Paramount show. Yeah. Um, even before I auditioned for it, I knew it was a Paramount Plus show, which is, and it's interesting because, um, you know, when I came across when this, when I read the script and stuff, I didn't know that Paramount and CBC could ever do a co-production so we were all my, my team and i were very confused initially because we we're like is this a canadian show is this an american show and funnily enough it's actually american financed so it's an american show and then cbc kind of came in last minute and it's interesting it's one of the first projects where i didn't have to worry about my canadian accent uh like i could just be a canadian because <laughs> i do so much american tv that like you know it's like oh wait these people actually want to see what canada's like this time that's interesting yeah. You know, so so I mean, I was I was just stoked because it's an up and coming network. It's an up and coming uh, streaming service uh, with the with uh, Halo and Yellowstone and um, uh, Jeremy Renner series, Mayor, Mayor of Kingstown. And yeah. so uh, getting to be there at the forefront of it all. Um, and that too, it's like one of the I mean, it's got its standard sort of criminal minds and NCIS procedurals and stuff on it. But those are old. Like they've been there for a oh, while. 100%. They're it, excited about this, too, if you think about it. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's cool to see the push and everything. <laughs> totally. But this is the first time that like streaming wise yeah. that they've done a procedural. Um, yeah. Because the rest used to be on live TV. Right. Yeah, um, absolutely. Very, Isn't it sorry. wild, though, Pranit? Like the just. I remember those shows that came out right before streaming came out and just kind of took everything to new heights, essentially. Like, I remember I talked to John Gallagher Jr. recently about a movie that he did with Nona Ryder. He was on Newsroom on HBO. That was like one of the last, that was one of the last shows before streaming. It's, it's crazy, right? We're not it's, going it's, that, that while back. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know, I know. So much has changed in so long. And, and the interesting thing, too, is, you know, we talk about like Squid Game, right, on Netflix, or we oh. talk about like um, some of these hit streaming shows or Stranger Things, and we're like, oh my god, they did they did seven million viewers or whatever, <laughs> ten million, and then you look at Grey's Anatomy, like season like twenty seven, mm-hmm. and it's pulling in forty million viewers, yeah, you know, per episode, like it's it's insane, and so it's kind of you know, there's one, there's sort of one school of thought, which is like you know that broadcast television is dead, but then there's those staples, those those procedurals that that people just love and can't get well it's so funny that you mentioned that because that's literally a question i had for you i mean you work on a medical drama skyma you rap you know people are loving it on paramount plus are you it's this is a big question you might not have the full answer but just in your opinion why do you think the medical drama is so appealing and popular in your opinion based on working on one i mean I don't think there's I mean, an answer to it. Like I don't think full, there's. A, yeah. I don't think there's like a. It's. I mean, it's. Yeah. There's no one answer. I, I think on on a high level, it's easily digestible content, right? People don't. You know, most of the people that are watching these shows come home after hard days of work. They just want to sit down and just watch something and be entertained. Mm-hmm. So I don't think on a baseline level, whether that's a criminal procedural or medical procedural, all they do is they do a good job of doing good bite-sized episodes of television that are highly entertaining from start to finish. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, you can just, you don't even have to know what happened in season two to enjoy season seven. You know yep. what I mean? Like, like the, the guest of the week model has that going for it, which is like, I can just watch it 
and turn my brain off and just have fun watching something. Yeah. Um, and then the bonus is a lot of these shows, you're dealing with extreme situations, situations where you as a person on your day-to-day -day life don't necessarily deal with, but like you're watching something that's based in reality, Yeah. you know, cause it's not, there's no dragons or explosions or anything like that, but like, you know, it's a slightly exaggerated version of reality and, and, you know, our brains can't help be driven by curiosity, right? Like yeah. the, what if I was in that position, how would I react? And, and then the third thing is, and, th and this is like the, it completes the trifecta because without it, these shows don't become hit shows. It's characters, right? Compelling yeah. characters. No, absolutely. Um, you know, House, Grey's Anatomy, uh, um, Good Doctor, like uh, all these shows have really compelling central characters. Uh, otherwise, nobody's nobody cares, you know. When you were working on this show, did you ever think about the fact that you were like working on two shows sometimes? Because like there's the medical drama, you know, the actual... The, the cases, right, where, you know, the nurses are on the, uh, are helping everyone and doing their jobs. And then there's obviously, like you kind of talked about a little bit, the characters, yeah. right? Like there's the drama yeah. and the relationships and everything. Did it feel like you were working on two shows sometimes, Praneet, because of that? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think it's, uh, Certainly the medical procedural part, but then a part of it is also just like a higher budget soap opera, you know, and, and you know, and it's so funny you mentioned that. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, it is. It is what it is. Like, that's what SkyMed is. It's it's like it is a soap in, in terms of, I mean, all of the teen dramas, any of the dramas yeah, that you yeah. see, any relationship drama, it has soap. It's opera, funny in like a, a age of like how genre bending is like a very trendy, popular thing now oh, in yeah. TV and film. You work on a show which literally knows what it is identity wise. <laughs> hundred percent and that's key to that's key to the success of it you know like it's yeah. like if you're not if you don't know what the show wants to be then nobody else is going to follow you you know what's um, with all the genre betting happening these days though it's crazy i don't I, I, I feel like it's like you remember how hot sauce was a big trend and everyone was oh, eating yeah. hot sauce it's like genre betting people are like writing like i want to make the next genre bending hit and I'm guilty of that too, man, because even like I do a lot of directing and producing and, and so many of the stuff that I do are like a, like a mix of different genres. I think yeah. it's, it's just, it's just more fun for me. Like, mm -hmm. I think, I think why not do something unique and combine different elements? Uh, you know, I, I just think it's just more fun. I, I yeah. think also that, um, you know, with the, uh, cause you've seen, have you seen everything everywhere all at once? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like that's the peak. That's like peak genre. Of, but I also you know. feel like that kind of just happens. Like, I don't feel like that was premeditated because I honestly think like a lot of the, our favorite genre bending movies and shows from like the two thousands and everything. I don't think the directors and the writers woke up in the morning and were like, I want to make a horror comedy drama. No, you know no, I mean? no, 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 they didn't. They just kind of, it wasn't like, it wasn't this perfect science. They just sort of told an entertaining story. And then yeah. the byproduct was, was that was those were those movies. I mean, a part of it's also it's modern nostalgia, right? Like I think the new generation, like, you know the baggy jeans are coming back and like yeah. the, the the late 90s are coming back and and uh you know that the rom-coms you know like the jerry Maguire style rom-coms oh. with the twist okay you know okay they... yes dude you're just oh you're yeah. saying all the great things right now <laughs> yeah 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 because they're all they're... coming back they're but, all making a huge comeback but there's so. a lot of rom-coms man that like the rom-com right now is a really cool is in a really cool place oh, yeah. because oh, yeah. they're ending not like you would think they would end Certain no, characters, no, no. like they're they're non traditional. I'm just saying, like incredibly non traditional. Yeah, or very non traditional, and and and, and that formula. And, and by the way, like just like stories about love and relationships, that'll be timeless. Like that yeah. that on a baseline level, people are always going to relate to that the most because that's what that, that's you know when you're talking about any sort of entertainment or any content, like what we want to tap into is people's hearts. Yeah, and, and I think that stuff will will never die. You know, if you keep that the core of any story, whether that's horror, thriller. Skynet, uh, you know, uh, Transformers, <laughs> like when, if that's the core, people are always going to watch, you know? And so, so yeah, it's making a huge comeback. Unfortunately, I don't know if we can, I mean, damn, I would love, I would love if like one of our episodes just becomes like, I like the show community a lot for that. Yeah. Well, you some know? of the, I mean, if I, I wouldn't, some, some of the stuff to like, some of it is like thriller component with like some of the, oh, like the sure. procedural aspect of it. It's like, Oh my goodness. Like, oh, like yeah. what is yeah. happening right now? You know what I mean? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's, that's why the whole Grey's Anatomy meets Top Gun and yeah. um, is, is an accurate one because 
you've got sort of that high stakes action that that uh, something like Top Gun, not, nothing close to Top Gun Maverick by any means. I, like, I it, know it's what certainly... you're doing right now. Now you're trying to flip, you're trying to flip everything and say that Skyman is a genre bending show. <laughs> it is, it is a genre, a little bit of a genre bending show. Uh, uh, called marketing, baby. It's called marketing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but you know, it's got it's got that high stakes action, and and yeah. at the same time. And that's the other thing too with with a show like this. I think it's also there's a time limit. Yep. You know, uh, and there's a time limit for all medical shows, but this is a it's an added level of time limit because but it's you're fast, in remote, right? It's fast. It's fast. Yeah. It's fast. You're in remote, dangerous areas. Like so often for medical shows, you're there. The hospital's right there. Yep. Like it's it's you know you're dealing with more bodily time situations over here. It's like not only is it the body, you're talking about trying to get them to a location yeah. in about five hours time. And oh wait, by the way, as we're getting to the location there's somebody calling with an SOS sign and now there's an ethical conundrum of, Oh shit. Are we going to, you know, stop what we're doing and go save this person. And if we don't, then this person dies, you know, it's, it's uh there's a lot of suspense. In I do way. have other really quick questions to ask, but very quickly, did you notice how, like when you read the script, did you instantly also realize that this was also a show that was going to tackle a lot of important social issues as well? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. away. I mean, that was apparent in the in the pilot, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, starting off with the representation of the indigenous communities, yeah. um, a lot of the First Nations communities in northern Manitoba, um, just showcasing the lack of resources that they have from yeah. our, our our federal and provincial governments. Um, yeah, the pilot the doesn't response... waste time with that at all. No, no, it doesn't. And that's the thing. It's, it's not preachy either, right? Like, we're not lecturing either. Like, we're just showcasing the facts of what northern Manitoba is like. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, looking at Crystal's arc of like, her, she's trying to protect her community and, and, uh, and, you know, looking at the way Lexi's treated, for example, yeah. you know, with a heavily male dominated field. And so, yeah, I mean, I do see a lot of comments sometimes about the whole woke mob or like, yeah. Oh, look, this is such woke culture or whatever. There's woke trash. And I'm like, I'd rather be woke than not. Um, and, and the other thing, and the other thing is a lot of these things, they are, they're just facts of life. There are facts of a cross section of Canada that we it don't get to see often, but it does exist and it is there. And those are, these are real issues that a lot of people deal with. You know? And to add to that, you know, you know what Pranit sky med mm -hmm. is a great show. It's a cool show. It's a fast show talk about the pace, but most importantly, yeah. it's an important show. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. that, that's what yeah. I think I hope people get out of it. To be honest with you is Very. how yeah, important yeah. it is. You're a storyteller. Yeah. That's what you do basically. Mm -hmm. Is it safe to say your favorite thing about storytelling or one of them, Pranit, is, you know, diving and transforming into all these worlds of Sky Met, Motherland, Fort Salem, Nancy Drew? Is that the best part of it? Uh, yeah. I mean, on a baseline level, it's just, it's me being a kid, right? Yeah. I mean, I get to... Uh, <laughs> it's a pen for a know, living. <laughs> there's no fighter planes in Sky Med, but, but like, you know, I get to live out that dream of being yeah. in an X-Wing in a way. You know, I get to uh, be an Nancy Drew and fight monsters and, and same with Motherland. I get to be a, a witch and... You know, it's it's the greatest job you can do to pay your bills. <laughs> you know, it's kind of it's 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 insane. You know, because it's literally I just have to tap into. There's a lot of days that are challenging acting wise. You know, you have to get get to a certain level emotionally, but a lot of the time it's it's just tapping into that inner kid, and and getting to play all these different characters in these different worlds. I you know I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I'm lucky in the sense that like I got to spend a lot of my early career in. Uh, uh, supernatural, sci-fi, fantasy sort of genres. Uh, oh, the genre bending, the genre bending yeah, shows. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the genre bending shows. There's a re recurring theme here. Oh, my uh, life for Salem. If that's not a genre bending show, I don't know what is. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's literally the pinnacle of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's. So I, I'm just I'm lucky in that sense. I mean, you know, but but yeah, easily the best part is getting to inhabit these characters getting to learn about a new world that you wouldn't have learned about if I was still, you know, uh, uh, I keep saying muggle these days, but it's yeah. muggle is the wrong word. I, uh, like just, you know, if I was still an engineer, you know, I, I wouldn't have these experiences. And so, um, getting to tell these people stories and then just coming to set and getting to be, you know, next to an explosion and yeah. then say some lines and go home. Like it's, it's the best job in the world. So, it's crazy, yeah. man. No, it's so great. Um, yeah. thank you so much for coming on the show, man. It was so great chatting yeah, with you. No, hey, thank you so much, Peter. Appreciate this. This is awesome. Thank Sky you. SkyMed so on Paramount Plus and uh, in Canada, CBC, CBC Gem. CBC, it's airing every Sunday, I believe, right? Every Sunday at 9 p.m. Yeah. yeah, okay, this part's a little confusing. Let me. Yes, so, it is. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, Paramount Plus 
uh, has all nine episodes of Sky Med up, in the yeah. United States. You can binge the whole thing worldwide. It's also on different Paramount Plus channels, but also in India, it's on Voot Select. But all nine episodes are available worldwide. Mm -hmm. In Canada, uh, you can watch it weekly on CBC Gem or live Sundays at 9 p.m. Yep. But if you are impatient and you want to binge the whole series in Canada, you can get CBC Gem Premium for four ninety nine a month. But you can also do the thirty day free trial, and then uh, and uh, you know just prep this uh, whole mark. You just the marketing is just perfect right now. You listen, like, you plug it perfectly. It's more just me being sick and tired of the constant questions. About... I want to know how you're going to plug your socials right now. I want to know. I want to know how you're going to blow your mind because that's something also. Like, where can people follow you on social media? I want to see you yeah. blow my mind with plugging your socials i feel like you can yeah yeah it. yeah listen listen you can follow me on twitter and instagram <laughs> at pranita killer um keep in mind that that both platforms are not my real life i treat them more like a website so they're my greatest sort of hits kind well, of thing. i mean they um, are a website they, they so are right they are, they are a website but but yeah please don't use it to compare your life to my life i i have i am just as flawed and just as human as everybody else and uh Everything that's on there is uh, you are all, just fake. crushing fake. it with these plugs. This is like it's all a fake. ten on ten <laughs> plug right now. <laughs> this has been Pop Turn at youtube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, it's Pernia Killer, who you can catch in Skyman on Paramount Plus and CBC and CBC Gem and Peter Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.